Hey, what is up everyone? I'm Fizzy Soda and I am super excited today because Blizzard has just announced the newest hero for Heroes of the Storm. And surprisingly, it is not a Warcraft assassin. It's actually a support. And to be more specific, it is Lucio from Overwatch. And I'm super excited because he is one of my favorite heroes from Overwatch. He's just a blast to play, fun to just wall ride around, and it is just awesome that they're bringing him to Heroes of the Storm. I think he will blend very well and transition smoothly to this game. Now to jump right into the video breakdown, the first thing we see gameplay wise in this video is going to be Lucio wall riding. Now it is a signature thing that he does. He can wall ride on all different types of things go up, down, all around, and basically survive that way because he's just so mobile. So, I'm expecting this to be a part of his trait. I don't know if it will be an activatable or if it's just you get close to walls and you automatically do it, but I think this is going to be strong because I don't think they would just show this in the video if it's nothing. I think it will be very important because it might let you dodge things that happen on the ground. So possibly you can wall ride and get away from mouth using his roots. I think that would be incredible to just dodge things on the ground and basically survive longer and be Lucio. Obviously, you're going to wall ride around and dodge everything, survive, and amp it up. So getting into the next portion of the video that they show us, he uses his sound barrier, the iconic ultimate that he has in Overwatch. I assume that it will be his heroic ability for Heroes of the Storm. Now, I don't know if they're going to do a tracer thing where it's going to be a charge up your ult or if there will be two ults that you get to choose at level 10. So I'm not exactly sure on that. I would guess that it might lean towards tracer since the last year they did Zarya from Overwatch. They didn't do that. They did a variation of her ult from Overwatch. So this time around, they might go back to that tracer thing. But it would be awesome to see them do two different ults, one being Sound Barrier. Everyone knows what that is basically if you've played Overwatch, and the other being something new but still similar to that Sound Barrier and helpful for team fights. So the last thing they show in the video, obviously his auto attacks, the four sound pumps coming out of his gun is awesome, but the Sonic Amplifier is the last thing we see. Basically it's his right click in Overwatch and it just pushes someone away from you. So this will be important. Because he is a support, he'll probably have a smaller health pool, and you don't want to get single targeted out, you don't want to get destroyed, so you can push away some of the enemies, which is going to be fantastic. Now, the things that we do not see in this video, which will probably come, that are from Overwatch, and we can basically assume that we will see these, is going to be Crossfade. So that's the shift key in Overwatch, which is going to switch between his healing and his speed buff. I would expect his speed buff to be a 5 or 10% speed buff. Maybe they'll do 5, and then whenever he uses Amp It Up, he will get maybe a 10 or 15% speed buff to everyone in his little radius. And as I just mentioned, Amp It Up will be the last basic ability he has. This is where he increases whatever mode he is in from crossfade being either the healing or the movement speed. So the healing, I think, is going to be fairly low, and then Amp It Up will bump it up quite a bit and I think this is going to be really good to have a passive healer and he might even replace maybe Brightwing or he might be really well played with a Tassadar doing a double support comp in Heroes of the Storm. I can't wait to see what we can do with this guy and they did say that he will be on the PTR on February 6th and that is only in three days. Basically we're going to play him soon and I cannot wait to hop on and see how this guy plays in Heroes of the Storm. On top of that, I can't wait to see what his master skin looks like and also the extra skin they're going to release with him. So that's all I have for today. I love the video. I can't wait to see their in-depth guide for him and see how awesome he plays in this game. I want to see some crazy comps, some crazy plays with him, especially some wall riding and I just, I can't wait. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the little breakdown and talking about his abilities. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Drop a like if you are. Leave a comment if you are ready to buy him and play him right when he comes out. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.